All right, so this week's Hawaiian Volcano Summary. You guys are looking at a live look in at Kilauea Volcano here at the summit. Steaming after some rain today, but no surface activity is still ongoing. Uh, it's been over 30 days since active lava has been on the surface of Kilauea. And accordingly, the USGS has now reduced their update frequency to weekly updates on Kilauea. Um, however, the volcano is showing signs of change underground. Uh, starting all this morning between 5 a.m. and uh, 3 p.m. today, I measured about three microradians of tilt increasing on the screen for you guys to see here at the top. Here's a last month of summit tilt on Kilauea, so we're looking at the signal that's right up here on the far right end, where it's jumped up about three microradians in the last few, several hours here. And that corresponds to an increase in earthquakes back to our elevated normal level, back to here. But you see that the last few days have actually been a little bit on the lower side there. So a little bit of a lull and then ramping back up today. Higher earthquakes corresponding with this higher tilt signal at the same time. Um, here is a plot of the earthquakes in the last 24 hours at Kilauea Summit. So this is just showing that it is in the Kilauea Summit region. Uh, mostly in that southwest side of the caldera, a little bit into that southwest rift zone connector. Uh, nothing happening in the rift zone as you can see from the larger image here. Right, these are all the earthquakes that are large enough to be located. That means that they're showing up on at least three different seismographs across the area. But the earthquake counts themselves can also include smaller earthquakes that only pick up as, as jolts and one or two stations that can't be located more precisely than that. So overall, it does seem like the volcano is pressurizing once again after a small lull there. It's pressurizing at the summit. It's been doing that for most of the last month, but it hasn't been moving as much as we're seeing in the last uh, 24 hours here. So that's the story in Kilauea. Uh, we'll have to wait to see if this leads to something else. Uh, the signal looks similar to what we saw about a month ago on March 10th and 11th when we had a similar inflationary signal that began on one day and then on the next day there was a small intrusion beneath the summit. So right now best guess uh, would be something similar to that. A small intrusion under the summit might be uh, imminently due here but it's not quite clear if that's going to happen or if there will be a resumption of eruption or a new summit eruption or how much further it'll build to get to that. Um, it's worth noting on the earthquakes we haven't quite reached um, alarming levels yet. It's just kind of back to its normal level. There haven't been any majorly large earthquakes down in that area. A good number of, of moderately sized ones, but nothing really big, uh, unlike what we saw last month as well. So the story is still ongoing as we're broadcasting to you guys today, and we'll have to wait to see what develops in the next few days or over the next week here. On Mauna Loa, the story is much the same. Uh, here is a tilt for Mauna Loa for the last month, and you can see that after last week's slight reduction in a inflation rate it seems to have picked back up here over the last week and it's back to normal and that's part of the expected post-eruption inflation pattern recharging the volcano after its 2022 eruption so nothing new there no increased concern in Mauna Loa as well uh, more interesting in Kilauea than Mauna Loa but there you are those both of our volcanoes uh, updated for you guys today that's our Hawaiian volcano summary for the week